Okay. How old are you, Karen? 75. 75 years old, and now you're able to walk your dog. That's great. Eric, are you uh, ready for this dog? We got a 140 pound golden retriever. It's bitten 12 people. Yeah, I was kind of wondering about that. I, I overheard uh, you talking to her about that. That's uh, kind of menacing. Well, you can do good though. I mean, I, I understand that the dog bit 12 people, but I trained you well. When you go in, just be calm, no matter what the dog does. If it comes and it uh, looks like it's going to attack you, just just be calm and relax. Just like I taught you, I do it without any problem. Well, yeah, that's because you're crazy. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy, it's going to be a long day. <laughs> here is a, an apparent case of insecurity so what I'm going to do is use the tennis racket here not to hit the dog or hurt the dog but to simply put the tennis racket in front of the dog to make sure that he doesn't charge remember if you use a tennis racket the dog thinks it's your arm if he bites it and he doesn't do any damage he's going to naturally back away because he can't hurt you so let's go in uh, and meet our guy Okay, the growling is just his way of saying I, I don't like someone that I don't know near me. So what we're going to do is we're going to correct using sound every time he growls until he stops growling. Calm, consistent, shh. Calm, consistent correction and follow through. Shh, shh. Every time the dog growls, we correct with sound. Eventually we will move from sound to touch. But right now we want to acquaint ourselves right. with the dog. I can okay. understand that, yeah. What's your dog's name? Boo. Yeah, that's what the uh, the rescue said that his name was. So I call him when he's outside, and he, he sometimes will come. Sometimes he says, no, I'm not ready to come. <laughs> okay. But uh, back whatever. Back. By turning my back to the dog, I'm letting the dog know that I want to meet him in a respectful manner. That's what I figured. Okay. Right. That's why, mm -hmm. you know, he goes straight at right. him. So before we have him to greet visitors the correct way, we have to build a relationship with him. Right. 
we have to let him know that we're the pack leader and then we're going to train him how to receive visitors and then we're going to make you the pack leader and you're going to do it. This is also going to be the same exercise for meeting new dogs. But right now we're using calm, consistent correction and follow through to stop the growling. No matter how long it takes, we have to accomplish that. Because in his language, that means we know how to teach him or give him direction, which is what he wants. That's why he's insecure. I can tell you right off the bat, Boo's problem is, is no one has ever told him that his behavior is not welcomed. Because I think that might be why he was given to the rescue. You know, that he just didn't know how to behave. I, I have a feeling that that's what it was. Even uh, Debbie that I talked to there, she wasn't sure of a lot of things. The lady just said, come get this dog, period. So, I don't know. That's, that's, that's the, the feeling I got, that there was no training, right. per se. So once the growling stops, then we can move to the next phase, which will be the walk in this case. This doesn't seem like a very difficult case. Oh, okay. Now I'm going to ask the owner to come and put a lead around him for me. This goes around his mm -hmm. neck? Or? Right around his head. Okay. And make it tight. Okay. No. That's good. Okay. Thank you. Boy. Shh. 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 Okay, you can step back. Shh. Now, notice that every time shh, the dog looks at the owner, shh, shh, I correct. Mm -hmm. It's a good sign that Boo is sniffing. You can always tell a dog that has a behavioral issue because they don't sniff. The less they sniff, the more high the behavioral issue is on the chart. Okay. The fact that he's sniffing tells me that he simply doesn't have someone to say, I'm not going to accept that type of bad behavior. Okay. So we've got walking and we've got visitor training and then we have some issues with dog dominant, but it's going to be the same as visitor training. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take the dog for a quick walk to establish a bond. Okay. So the dog is going to have to wait at the door until I go out and invite him out to walk with me in my area. Remember, when a dog walks out before you or walks in before you, whatever's in front of the dog, the dog owns. So therefore, it's responsible for dealing with any situation. We want to change that by making sure that the dog always exits or comes into a dwelling after us. And we also want to make sure that when we walk, the dog always walks to our side or behind us. Okay? This is good. Did you get the sniffing? He's baffled. He's not used to this. But I think you could see the reaction to me when I came in. Right. Okay, when the cameraman came in, he continued to move towards the door. But when I came in, he moved back, mm -hmm. which is a sign of respect. The only way he could do it. <laughs> okay, all right. So now we're going to go out the door. I'm letting him know with corrections that he has to go behind me. Okay. He has to be calm before he moves forward. So we stay here until he's calm, and then we move. You're going to need a calm collar for him, okay? Because you're. If, if he starts to pull, you're, 
You know. Okay. Shh, uh, shh. Come on out. Behave. Okay, we're, we're, we're going to cut it short here because Karen is a senior citizen. We don't want her to get hurt. Okay. <laughs> Stop! Okay. Stop. Yeah, we have the regular okay. dogs. Okay. All right, so when we put the calm collar on, you have some dominant dogs like Boo here. <laughs> and so he's going to flail around a little bit and resist everything. So what we want to do is make sure that we don't make it a bad experience putting on the collar. Okay. So we just want to take our time. So we just slip it on top. Okay, now we're going to have Karen walk her dog for the first time with a safe calm collar on. And remember, if your dog moves ahead of you to the left or the right, Stop. any way other than forward, just give a gentle correction like this. Okay? okay? In about a two or three days, you should have him down pat with the walk. Do you like walking? Oh, yeah. Okay, it's good exercise. Oh, I know. Good for, good for the Move this way a little bit. We want to walk a little bit more. Just walk. Don't worry about the car. Correct. Right past the car. We're going to keep an eye on the Okay. How old are you, Karen? 75. 75 years old, and now you're able to walk your dog. That's great. Little gentle corrections. There we go. It's, all, it's normally the human. Yeah. Right. It's always it's always the human that needs the work. Training. <laughs> uh, yeah, they don't like the films, Karen, that uh, that have good constructional videos on how to, let's say, groom a dog. They don't watch those videos. Oh. <laughs> the videos they love is the one where the dog tries to kill me. Oh. <laughs> but I got to admit, I kind of like that too, you know? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay. okay. So walk on back into your home. Now he's following you. Okay, now Eric, I want you to go out front. Go out this door and then go out front and uh, and we're going to do the uh, the door exercise and see if it goes a little bit better than we first started. Is that gate got a problem there? That just just hop over it there. Uh, yeah, hop over it. There you go. I, I saw you one day running from a dog. You look like Carl Lewis. <laughs> there we go. Oh, you didn't jump. Nah, I don't want to okay. anybody. Okay. All right. I just wanted to do it slowly. I didn't want to show my physical prowess. Uh, I understand. <laughs> I still think you could have just popped right over that oh, gate. Oh, yeah, definitely, uh -huh. definitely, definitely, you know. Uh-huh. <laughs> In a pig's eye. Yeah. <laughs> just relax. Stay. The more calm you are, the easier it's going to be. Stay. There Stay. we go. He's starting to get it. Stay. Stay. Sit. Now, now, watch the inflection in your voice. Sit. All you have to do is say, sit. 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 Touch the rear end. Sit. There we go. Stay. Now, just, what the first stage is to make sure that he can get through the knocking calmly. Give him a double pat. So he has to get through the sound first. Make it louder, Eric. Correct. Anytime he looks at that door, correct. Remember anticipated correction. I'm going to still... He's not going to do that to you. He's going to do that to me. <laughs> now, notice how he settled down after that correction? Okay, give him a double pat. Good job. Watch me. Twirl him around. Sit. Step. Sit. Sit. Step. Tell him to stay. Stay. 
Watch your flexion on your voice. Stay. 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 Get us over here. Let us sniff your guests. Have your guests turn around. That's the way he should be when gas comes.